Hello everyone and welcome to a quick Elden Ring rune farming guide. If you have to make a difficult decision between trying to practice a boss fight for one more hour or just go and farm runes, I recommend to practice the boss. Well, it's a whole different story if you want to go out and explore the world and maybe find different spells and weapons etc. But if you have to decide between farming and practicing the boss, I recommend the boss. Uh, the level of your character is not going to kill the boss for you. You have to learn it anyway. But if you just need a couple of attribute points for a new weapon, a new spell, then it's a whole different story. And I can show you how to get these level ups really quick. You just have to go to the Church of Maurika from the starting of the game. You go to the road, turn right, over the bridge, turn left, follow the street until you reach the church. Here you can pick up the crystal flask and here is also the location of the teleportation stone. It's behind the church, by the water, in this corner. Always take those teleportation stones, it's way too interesting not to take them. And they will almost always teleport you to a place with a grace. So you can safely turn back or come back. Once you're here, continue going forward, don't go back. Go forward, open the door, touch the grace, talk to your new best friend over there. He will introduce a new game mechanic for you. Basically what he wants is roots, some kind of roots, I forgot the name, but how you find them is relatively easy. This is the church where we just have been and there is a boss over here and this is one of those bosses that drop his roots and you can give him the roots and enjoy your reward. It's quite nice. Anyway, let's get started. I did this route myself only a few times and at the end of the route I have one little surprise for you, like there's treasure at the end of the road, quite literally. Um, I haven't mastered this route or anything, I just did it just a few times because I wanted to use a... God fucking damn it, not what I wanted. Uh, can we please restart the video? These guys are extremely strong. There is a reason why they give you so many rooms. Now, let me do it again. Let's pretend this did not happen. You right, jump, attack, smash them to the ground, and kill them. Nice. I stay on the left side since it's quite open and you have the enemies. Oopsie. You have them like in separated locations. There is a tree, don't forget to pick up a seat. On the other side, there are even more of them, but the area is not as open as here. If it comes to runes, I suggest staying here in the open and just resetting more of them. But if this is your first time coming here, just wait a second, I'm gonna show you treasure. I should have casted a spell on my weapon, but eh. As you can see, you only have to do this like once or twice and you can... I think I can level up twice now. Or even having runes for shopping, you know, like in armor or buying spells from NPCs. Now, this is the time where I would personally reset the route, but treasure! Continue. Continue on if this is your first time coming here. Let's do this one lonely boy here. There is treasure in that tower, and you can turn off the video now if you want to figure out how to get inside, but I can show you myself. There is a dragon on that bridge. Don't go to that dragon. Quite literally, 
don't go to the dragon on that bridge or the dragon that we just saw when we came in or anyone besides these little fucks here. They are already strong, too strong for my character anyway. Yeah. Don't ride your horse with the weapon in one hand. Even if it looks like you're holding it in one hand right now, the calculation behind the scene is two-handed. But he came too close to the group. So I have to refrain to gently asking him to come over here. Not that spell, not that spell. Oh, I survived. Nice. I didn't survive it the first time I came here. Come a bit more faster, please. Oh, oh, yep. Do not underestimate them. There is a reason why they give so many rooms. I can't stress it enough. And one more. Huh? Where's the boy? There he is. Alright. Now to the tower. I'm gonna show you how to enter it and have fun exploring it. I'm not going to fight these guys here. There's just too many of them and the road is full of poison. Like, jumping makes more sense here, trying to avoid these mushrooms. The bridge is not clean. We have to wait, I'm sorry, you have to... You have to wait a little bit longer, like... Don't even try to run past this guy. Come on, come on! Bit more fun, bit fast, come on, come on. Yep, he do. He's faster than, than we are. So if he catches, I might survive a hit with this shield. Because I know for a fact that he's one hitting me. This is a high level area. That's one of the reasons why they give so many runes here. Oh, we've, we've already shaken him off. Okay, that's good. There is a grace. And there is wind might have guessed how to get to that tower. Yeet. Yoink. And voila. Enjoy exploring the tower. Enjoy farming your runes. Don't overdo it. And yeah, I hope this video is helpful for you guys. Um, have a great one. Bye bye.